Hi, this is Mandy Laramore. I'm one of the VW MOOC organizers for 2018. And I wanted to make a short video about customizing your buttons on your viewer if you're new to Second Line. I've got my viewer set up in the same way that Marsha Sue, our sample student for 2018, has her set up. This is considered to be the default. And you can see there's a ton of buttons here, and they do a lot of different things. You can customize them by clicking on Me, the Me menu, and clicking on Toolbar Buttons, which shows you all the toolbar buttons that are here. Let me move this over, and I'm going to clear them all off the screen. <clears throat> they come off the sides of the screen, and they come back up to the button selection. Now, what you want to do is take a look at all of these things and see what they do and see how many of these you want to have available to you. If you're new in Second Life, you might want to have walk, run, and fly. And you can either put it down here on the bottom to the right-hand side or to the left-hand side, depending on what your preference is. I tend to like to have about land, and I like to pile things up on the left. This is because I'm a, a landowner and a, a organizer in some different groups, and I like to be able to see what's going on in the land and where we are prim-wise and things like that. I also like to put out my appearance. This is where we find those different galleries of outfits, <clears throat> the list of outfits if you don't have the money to make a gallery, and what you're wearing. Um, if you're new, you might want to put out avatar because then you can kind of mess around with your initial choice of an avatar and maybe look at some other ones and do something else for yourself. If you're interested in having the camera controls, which Nellie uh, was explaining in one of her videos, this is a good, good one to have out as well. I usually put it over here on the left-hand side because I like to pile things up. I also like to use gestures. So I put that above the camera. And I try to organize things in terms of how often I use them, with the ones at the very top and the very bottom being things that I use all the time. So I use chat all the time. And I like to have it at the bottom here rather than arrayed along the, the bottom of, this, of the viewer. I like to have them at the bottom of the left-hand list. But you might like them on the right hand. So you should just experiment. Destinations takes you to the destinations that the editors are interested in. That's another one I like to have. You might want to have the how-to down here um, or wherever you want to put it if you're new to Second Life. I also like to have my inventory available for all of my different pieces of furniture and all kinds of other stuff. <clears throat> and the general um, long list of clothing and so on. I'm almost never interested in grid status. I probably should be, but I'm not. I like to see the map. I think the map is kind of cool. Let me pull it up. It shows you where you are, and you can zoom it from very close up to where you're sitting, to farther out, to where you can see the whole <clears throat> continent that we're on, and where you can see the entire, <clears throat> all of the, where you can see all of the locations in Second Life. You get a mini map that just shows your general area. People is where you find your friends, who's nearby, your friends, who's on, your groups, the ones you belong to, people who were recently around, and then if you've blocked anybody, the block list. Picks is <clears throat> things that you have favorited. Places are your landmarks. Preferences I'll let you take a look at all kinds of interesting things like <clears throat> like your general settings, whether or not you want to see people's group names and so on above their heads, where you take a look at your graphics and decide if you want to try and make your draw, draw distance farther or whatever. So lots of things. These are worth exploring. Profile, if you feel like you need your profile out there, abuse, uh, report abuse if you've been having problems. I almost thankfully never have to deal with that. Um, the search is always fun to have available. 
the snapshot. I just like to have that second to last. And I put speak in right above the camera usually so that it's easy to find. But as I said, you can put stuff down here. I typically don't put anything down there and I can remove the, the button. You could also, if you really know what everything means, is just use the icon without the label. I like to use the icon um, for the ones that I know. If I was putting some of these other ones up, I would have the icon and the label. So this is a good thing to do. It, it helps you think about what you do the most in Second Life and have those buttons that will make that easier for you available. If you leave something off, you can always find it in the menu list. Like, for instance, this is the walk, run, fly button. <clears throat> Places button picks your profile, your appearance, and so on. So this is also a good thing to do is explore all of these various menus and see what they do and what they have to say. So this was just a little way to tell you how to how to put this together, and I hope that will help you. It's kind of fun to do also. You sort of get an idea of what you like to do and what you need to have up there and whether or not it's congenial to go to the left or the right or the bottom of the viewer, whatever works for you. Another thing that you can do is up here on the favorite bars, when you find a place that you go all the time or you need to go there frequently, um, just go ahead and open the landmark list. And then you take one of these and you pop it up and it appears on your list. And then the next time you have to go there, all you need to do is click on that. So that's kind of a, a cool thing to do. Did I put this up twice? Oh no, that's the display line. <clears throat> anyway, so have fun exploring. And um, if you have any questions, ask any of us and anybody in the class that you know is from an earlier, earlier time <laughs> in the course, that's always a great idea. So see you in the course. Bye, y'all.